Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my July 2020 full face makeup tutorial using all of my Ipsy products. And I am so excited to see what look I can come up with with all of these beautiful products in front of me right now. So I did full dedicated review videos on all of these makeup products that I'm gonna be showing you. So I'll have all of those videos linked in the description down below if you want any more information on any of these products. I also did my unboxing and unbagging video for all three of my glam bags, the $12 regular glam bag, the $25 Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, and the $50 Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate Box. So if you want to see my unbagging and unboxing of those, I'll also have those videos linked in the description down below. Something that I actually wanna start doing for these monthly Ipsy videos is giving you my feedback on the skincare products that I've received. And I've actually been using some of the products a lot this month that I'm excited to talk about. Also a hair care product because I definitely have been getting more skincare and hair care products in my boxes lately. Even though I prefer getting more makeup products, it doesn't seem like Ipsy's been doing the best job at listening to my feedback and following my quiz, which is definitely a bummer, but the skincare and hair care products that I got, I have been enjoying. So this here, the Skin Regimen Cleansing Cream Anti-Pollution Face Wash. When I first got this, I didn't think it was something that I would really be interested in trying, but it's a very good travel size cleanser, so I brought this with me when I went on a weekend trip and it really worked so well. I don't like the smell of it, but it does a really good job of cleansing everything off of my face and leaving my face feeling very clean but not tight. So it's a nice cleanser and I'm probably going to finish this up pretty soon because it's become my daily cleanser since I started using it. Just to really clean off all of my makeup and everything on my face, dirt, oil. But I also have been enjoying this in the morning as well to get that fresh feeling on my face. So good cleanser. I also have been using the Hydra Soother Balancing Radiance Cream. This cream does have a nice scent to it and I'm like almost done with it because this is just such a small little sample but it really has such a nice texture. It's a very jelly cream, so I feel like it absorbs into the skin really nicely and it's just been super hydrating. I've been using this as my night cream and I really think that it hydrated my skin. And then for the hair care product, this is from Foxy Bay. It's the Don't Hate Hydrate Replenishing Hair Mask with Biotin. So. It was an eight pack of these little individual pouches. So travel friendly, but it really was so nice. It really softened my hair. Like it made such a dramatic difference in how soft my hair felt. So I think this did a really great job. I love using hair masks every time I wash my hair. So I'm excited to keep using this because it really did just soften and hydrate my hair like it says. And then as you can see, I already did my base makeup. So I did my foundation, concealer, and powder. So underneath all of that, I used my Pure Lease Matcha Green Tea Antioxidant Priming Moisturizer. And I have been really enjoying this because it's super hydrating, especially when my skin it tends to be very combination right now where it'll get greasy in places, like my forehead and my cheeks, but then be very dry on my chin. So this just helps to even out the texture, I feel like, of my skin. So it's hydrated, but then it also smooths over pores. So I've been really enjoying this. I love the brand Pure Least now. And now let's get into putting some makeup onto my face. So first off, I am gonna do my brows with the Il Maquillage Brow Pen that I have in the shade Latte. I have been using this as my daily brow pencil and I like it. I really like that it holds the brows in place so I don't need a brow gel with it. But I just wish that it did have a spoolie because I feel like since my brow hairs are so long, I need to brush through them to just make them go in the direction that I want them to be in. 
and I feel like this shade is a little bit light for my brows, but I mean, you can't really tell, but I've been trying to lighten my hair a little bit, so maybe this will be a good summertime brow color for me. But the finished result looks really good. It's quick for me to do, makes a great difference in how my brows look so that they just look more filled in, have a good shape to them. And it's a really nice creamy formula that just glides on, but then it's also a waxy formula. So it stays in place all day long. Already feel so much better about how my makeup look is going, just having my brows on. So I'll definitely continue using this. I'm sure I'll use it up because I have to fill my brows in every day. And I really do like how this looks and I like the application of it. I just have those couple little improvements that I would make to it. But now let's stay with the brow area and add the brow highlight. So I'm gonna use my Beauty For Real Shadow Stick and this is the lighter shade. It's called Ever Starstruck. I got a two pack of these and I'll use the other brown shade probably as my eyeliner today because I didn't end up loving these on my eyelids for eyeshadow. But this is a great brow highlight. So easy to apply, blends nicely, and I feel like it's that perfect shade. And then this is a nice light inner corner highlight shade as well to brighten up the eyes. So I love a highlighter stick. I just feel like they are so quick and easy to apply. So I think this is a good highlighter stick, but not the best eyeshadow stick in my opinion. But so now I'll move on to the eyelids and I am going to use the Zoeva Eyeshadow Fix Matte Primer because when I used these eyeshadows, they performed better with the eyeshadow primer. So I'm going to go ahead and use the primer. All right, eyelids are primed. So for eyeshadow, I got three different products. I got the Seraphine Botanicals Sakura and Sage Palette. This is a beautiful one. I got the Naked Cosmetics Loose Pigment in a rose gold shade. And I got the Il Maquillage Eyes on the Prize gold shadow here. So I'm going to start out by going into the Seraphine Botanicals palette and picking up the matte brown shade here to do the transition. So I'm going to blend this from the crease up onto the brow bone. I really love this palette for shimmery eyeshadow looks, but for the look that I'm going to do today, I'm actually going to use only the matte shades from this because I have those other two shimmery shades to use. This is such a nice transition warm tone brown that blends out perfectly. It does have good pigment, so you can build it up to be that full color, but I also love how it looks just blend it out like this. And then I'm gonna pick up the darker matte brown shade to apply to the outer V and add some contour and dimension to the eye. This dark brown shade is the perfect outer V, darker shade to add dimension. I love to do this effect. It kind of is that foxy eye trend, which that foxy eye trend wasn't really a thing when I started applying the darker shade to the outer corner, but that's basically exactly what it is. It lifts the eye shape and that's exactly what that foxy eye trend is about so i love that 
eye trend, eye makeup trend. I really love how this eyeshadow looks already, but let's amp it up with some shimmer and sparkle. So I am gonna pick up the Naked Cosmetics Loose Pigment, and this actually is not as hard to apply as it seems. I like to just use my finger and pick up some from the cap here, and I'm gonna press this into the center of the eyelid. This color on the rest of the eyelid would be such a beautiful makeup look with these other shades, but I really wanna try out that gold from Il Maquillage in this look as well. But I love this rose gold shade. It is the perfect eyeshadow shade in my opinion. And it has such beautiful shimmer. So pretty. And then I like to apply this Il Maquillage eyeshadow with my finger as well. And this has amazing pigment. And I'm gonna apply this shade to the rest of the eyelid. So like the inner third. Ooh, it just has such an amazing foiled texture. This kind of turned into a shimmery sunset eyeshadow look, which is something that I absolutely love. I'm so drawn to the sunset color palette. And then I'm going to blend out the edges, blend out any harsh lines, and I am really happy with how all three of these eyeshadow products, or I guess four, because of the highlight eyeshadow, I love how they all came together. This is such a fun look. And to finish it off, I have been loving the Beauty For Real Brown Shadow Stick, which is in the shade Midnight Marathon. I love this as an eyeliner, so as a lower lash line eyeshadow. Just kind of blend it out, add some emphasis to the eyes, but also add some beautiful sheen. Because I love that this has shimmer in it. So pretty. This is just such a summery, kind of glam, but not too glam eyeshadow look that I'm really happy with. And then I'm gonna apply the Tarte Sea Surfer Curl Mascara. I really like this mascara, but as I've been using it every day since I got it, I realized that I don't love it as much as other mascaras that I've used before. So this mascara, it's good and I will keep using it, but it kind of makes the lashes clump together. So I have to spend a lot of time working with it and brushing through the lashes so that they stay separated. So it just is a little bit more work than I would want, especially when I'm just applying this quickly on an everyday basis. If I have the time to sit here and brush through the lashes continuously, then this turns into a very beautiful mascara and the lashes look really good. And I am trying to take my time right now to get them to look as good as possible, but that's just something I've noticed as I've been using this every day, that it is time consuming to get all of the lashes exactly how I want them. But once I get them there, they do look really good. It has a really dark black color to the lashes. It adds volume, it adds curl. And it's definitely a good lower lash mascara because of the shape of this wand. All right, so after what feels like a very long time of applying mascara, 
I would say that my eye look is done. All right, now I can move on to another one of my favorite parts of my makeup routine, which is applying blush. So I got the Will Powder Blush from The Balm, and this is a really pretty shimmery blush. So I really like to add that flush of color and glow to the face. So I think this is a very beautiful blush. It has good pigment. It has that little shine. It has a beautiful texture on the skin so it doesn't leave a powdery appearance. I just love the life that that gave to my cheeks and to my look. I like to also Brush it over the nose. There we go. I love that it's giving glow to the cheeks. So for a casual day, I can skip the highlighter because I'm already getting that radiance from the blush. And now to finish off this shimmery, summery makeup look, I'm going to line my lips in the Thrive Cosmetics Lip Filler Lip Liner that I have in the shade Gizlin. It's such a creamy lip liner. I love this formula. And I love the brand Thrive Cosmetics, so I'm really happy to have this liner in my collection. And then I'm going to top it off with the Nature's Cartel VCR Static Lip Gloss. And this is such a great lip topper because it has sparkle and shine to it. And it looks so pretty with this lip liner because the sparkles are dual chrome where they are like the magenta but then they're also that like green color so it just adds such a fun touch to this lip color I love this finished makeup look all of these products look so good together like this color scheme that I have going on is one of my absolute favorites because you still get a bold enough lip color, but then it goes so perfectly with this shimmery sunset eye look. This is seriously one of my favorite ipsy makeup tutorial looks that I've done so far. Well, thank you so much for watching my video today. Definitely let me know if you enjoy these full face makeup videos using all of my Ipsy products. And if you have any other ideas for other types of products that you want to see on my channel, let me know because I love getting your feedback. But as always, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment, and I will see you in my next video.